hello everyone welcome back to my channel today we are going to be learning a half circle dress with half cut i already have my upper body folded in four to get the amount of the fabric fold over we are going to divide the largest part of the body of the upper body is by four the largest part of the upper body is eight 38 the bust of this customer is 38 while the waist is 36 bust is the largest part of the upper body therefore when i divided the bust by four i got 9.5 then that 9.5 i added three inches in allowance to it allowance out of which two inches is going to be my same allowance then the remaining one inch added to it is just for me to have the room to connect my markings or to have little room for trim off so now i'm going to start in fit this is my guideline i'm going to start in fitting all my measurements the bust from the shoulder the bust length from the shoulder is 11.5 the half length is 17 plus half inch that is 17.5 I'm going to cut the front and the back together. After getting your fold, the value you are going to use to fold your fabric for the front, just simply fold the back and add like extra 1.5 in for seam allowance, zip allowance of the back to the value you got at the front. Then use that part. Simply place the front on fold on the back so that you will be able to cut both together. Now, my shoulder is 16. 16 divided by 2, we have 8. So the back, that is why I'm going to place it across this line from this folded edge of the front, not from the, not from the back. Bodies, but from the front bodies, I'm going to place my eight inches here. Can you see? That is why I have my eight inches here. Then, for the front neckline, the back and the front neck width, I use three point five. As for the back neck, I use two. Inches. Use one inch for the back neck. Why for the front? I use three point five. I don't want it too low. That is why. So, because we are cutting the back and the front together, all the markings of the back, I'm going to mark it on the front bodies, so that I'll be able to trim it off then remove it later. So here, I'm going to explain something to you. The back, my shoulder is 8 inches, 16 divided by 2, 8 inches. My armhole opening is 9 inches. So from the starting point here, I mark my 9 inches downward then I square it. I mark it this way so that I'm going to be able to do or infuse my measurement. So now we are going to start infusing the measurement. Bust 38 divided by 4, we have 9.5. 9 I'm going to infuse my 9.5 here from this folded line. I'm going to infuse my 9.5 here and mark it here. Then I'm going to put my two inches same allowance there. Two inches same allowance. Can you see? My waist measurement was 36 divided by was 36 divided by 4. We have 9 plus 1 inch dust. We are going to have 10. So I'm going to I'm going to mark 10 at the waist area. 10 plus 2 inches same allowance. This is what I'm going to have. Let's calculate it. 36. 36 divided by 4. We have 9. Plus 1 inch dust. We have 10. Plus 20 same allowance, we have 12. So that's it. I'm going to infuse our 12 here. This is all we have here. Now I'm going to connect to the first. I'm going to connect the waist here to the first measurement. So this is what I have. Can you see? Now, the shoulder slope for the front. For the shoulder slope for the front, I'm going to use 1.5 for it. Why I'm going to use one inch for the shoulder slope of the back that is what i usually do because the seam the shoulder seam should not sit right at the midpoint of the shoulder so that is why it's always 1.5 in front and one inch at the back now i'm going to measure it the front shoulder shoulder slope is marked in red here can you see this is the original shoulder slope. this is the same allowance here why the back shoulder slope is marked in blue from here to here is one inch then when i measured it upward to add my seam allowance for the shoulder slope of the back so this is it this is the actual shoulder slope of the back from here to here is one inch this is it it ends here just at the shoulder here where the neckline joined the line coming from here then this is the same allowance from here to here is the same allowance i mark it from here to here i mark half inch upward then connect it to the same allowance here as for the shoulder slope of the front which is 1.5 from here to this place is 1.5 so i have to move upward to add the same allowance the same allowance for the front is right where the actual shoulder slope for the back is can you see this is actual for the front. This is the actual shoulder slope for the back. So the same allowance for the front is where the actual shoulder slope for the back is. So the same allowance for the front, I connect it to the same allowance for the back here. The actual for the front is going to meet where the actual for the back here is. The actual for the, for the back is from here to here. The actual for the front is from here to here. The same allowance for the front is from here to here. But the same allowance for the back is connected from here to here. They both have, they both have one stop or one point connected points let me see so now i'm going to draw our armhole 
I'm first going to draw the armhole for the back. For the armhole of the back, I'm just simply going to connect from this bus measurements to this place. I'm not going to go in by half inch or whatever value. I'm going to connect it like this. The method of back armhole shaping I'm showing you right now is best used for free garments like kimono dresses and bubu uh, dresses. This is what I, I just thought I'd show you various methods. You want to go in by half. You can go in by half. At times I do so. But at times I leave it this way. I use both methods. So for the angle of the front, you can go in by half inch or 0.75 inward. 0.75 inward. And connect. Then you to get this, the, uh, the points where I divided, where I went in by half inch. You are going to measure this place. Measure from here to here. Then divide it into two equal halves to get the midpoint. So this is, I have 3.75 as the midpoint, that was how I arrived at this point here, I went in by half inch. Then from that place, I'm just going to place my pattern master on the, on the first measurement, and I'm going to connect this way. So this is what I have, then I'm going to just connect it to, from here to meet this place. So that is, that's about the handful shaping of the front and the back. Suppose you went in by half inch for the back, you are going to connect it this way. You are going to make sure your pattern master is touching the first measurement here and is touching this place at the same time. So you are going to connect from here to here, then from here to here. You can follow any of the methods. I'm I prefer to use the second method of back hand shaping because it helps to remove or edges from that angle area and make the back hand shape more smooth. Then I'm going to go in by half inch for the back and I'm going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it this way. So you are going to connect it
we are done this is what we have hello guys i'm going to be doing some few alterations on these bodies i forgot to place uh, that the other time so i just mailed my boss pan which is eight inches the boss pan of my customer is eight inches i mailed from the center front to half of eight inches close and the fabric i mailed 4.5 know that the fabric is it's folded into two so that by the time I want to stitch my darts, I will stitch it by half inch so that the line will fall right where the boss pan is. Take note that this is not boss darts techniques. Therefore, that is why we use the same length we use for the front half bodies for the back half bodies. So if you want to learn about boss dart techniques, I have a tutorial on it on the channel. But right now I'm going to alter this into a boss darts technique because I don't want my back half length so it'll be the same thing with my front half length because it doesn't usually have much fitting when it is when this method is used on peplum down therefore i'm going to cut one inch away from the back i'm going to measure one inch from the hem of it and cut it from the back one inch from the entire back to the side because the back the front half length is usually longer than the back half length because of the bust protrusion. The one inch I cut away from the back, we are going to rectify it at the front through the use of bust that. Therefore, if you look at it now, you see that they are no longer rhyme. To make them rhyme, we are going to impute our bust that on the front. On the bust line here, I'm going to pick one inch the one inch i trimmed away i'm going to pick it on the bust level if you take a look at it here now i've inputted my bust that here so for you to have in-depth knowledge of that bust that technique i have a tutorial on that so when you watch it you have you understand what i'm doing the bust yeah. so i'm going to just try right on the bust line i'm just going to transfer my bust that on the line so by the time i stitch my bust that close by that one inch it's going to rhyme with the side of the back. I hope that is clear. In this video, we are going to be learning how to cut a half circle skirt or the lower part of a half circle gown. For you to cut a half circle, either skirt or a gown. If it is a gown, the full length of your gown, you are going to minus it from the half length of your gown. In this case, I have 48 as the full length of my gown and 17.5 as the half length of my gown. We equally need the waist circumference, which in this case is 36 inches. Now let's move over to cutting our half circle skirt. You are going to need the length of the skirt, just the length of the skirt and the waist circumference of the skirt. That is all you need, need if you are cutting the skirt, cutting it as a skirt. Now I'm cutting it as a gown. We are going to subtract the full length of our gown, which is 48 inches, minus the half length of our gown, which is 17.5. When we do that, 48 minus, let's do that quickly. Full length of my gown is 48 inches minus half length 17.5 equals to 30.5, which means my lower skirt or the lower part of my half circle gown is going to be 30.5. So now, this 30.5, I'm going to need 1.5 inch to serve as the hem allowance of the skirt because that's what I'm going to use to fold it plus 1.5. That will give me 32. Is that taken? So we are going to note the 32 inches as the length of our skirts or, le or length of lower part of our circle gown. So let's proceed to cutting it. The formula for getting a half circle is 3.14. For us to get this the radius of, we are going to divide our waist circumference, which in this case is 36. We are going to divide it by 3.14. That 36 inches, which is the waist circumference, I'm going to add one inch to it rather. That one inch will serve as a zipper allowance. So when I add 36, 1 to 36, we are going to have 37. Now, the formula comes in. 37 divided by 3.14, we have 11.78. We are going to need half at the upper part of our skirt to attach it to the upper part. So we are going to deduct half inch from that 11.75. 11 point, 11 point 11.7 minus 0 0.5. We are going to have be left with 11.2. We are left with 11.2 now. Therefore, 11.2 is our radius. Now, 11.2 plus the length of our skirt. The length of our skirt is 32. When we calculated it the other time, 32 plus 11.2, which is the radius. The length of your skirt plus the radius. Now we have 43.2. So you are going to measure it twice on your fabric because I want to be able to trim the circumference, the outer circumference of my 
down i'm going to i'm going to add one inch to that figure i cut then i'm going to stop at layer 44 instead of that 43.2 i'm going to layer 44 twice so this is 44 from the hem to here i have 44 i'm going to fold it into two now so from this edge this is our 44 inches from this edge so i, I told you that you're going to fold it into two you're going to double the 40 the value we got and fold it into two i have my 44 from here to here let me go from this edge so you see that it's folded into two and this side is is on fold you have to try it at this other side can you see okay now to get our half circle folded we are going to bring this side this side take note of this we are going to bring this open side at the top here we are going to bring it to this folded side here so let's do that quickly which means we are folding it on bias or folding in a triangular way make sure that it's aligned well aligned can you see this is what we have this is what we have can you see now so from here along this side all sides are folded why at the other side here we have a folded side then two open sides so on this part here we are going to infuse our radius our radius is 11.2 if you see the number we are going to infuse our radius here radius is 11.2 why our full skirt length is 43.2 we can start layering our 43.2 from this to this 43.2 from this pointed edge 43.2 let me use this for 3.5 Is because we're taking it from that tip. So that is what we have. Now we, have, we want to infuse our radius. Our radius is 11.2. We're going to infuse it 11 11.2. 11.2. 11.2. 11.2. And that is one. We have it cut out. Let's do that quickly. We have it cut out. So this is our radius. We have it cut out. You have to be careful that you cut the place smoothly. It has to be right. If it's not right, it's going to affect the flow of your of your skirt. Okay. Your skirt. what we have this is our circle skirt or the lower half of our circle gown this is the radius we cut on it can you see why we call it half circle can you see that it's the half of a circle so we threw this away can you see so you can either make this into a skirt or a gown if you're making this into a skirt all you need is just to cut a band to it thanks for watching to the end please share like comment and subscribe to my channel also, don't forget to press the notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload a new tutorial. Bye.